Hello, hello, good morning, my friend. This is Jeanette filming from the city of San Antonio and this beautiful February the 14th celebrating this amazing San Valentine's. I wish in you that you are having a blessed time. This video is dedicated to all of you and wishing you, as it is always my heart and my spirit, that you are enjoying a peaceful, beautiful, and good day. Um, I am on the process of the application of my concealer and for the occasion my friends I am using my shade and illuminate from Tom four as many of you know this is one of the best formulation well I have many favorite but this is one of the formulation that works amazingly for my uh, delicate eye skin area. Okay, shade illuminate using a uh, silk, which is a cool pink tone that I apply first for the cancellation of my dark circle, and then I proceed with Ono Blanc, and that is. The one that you see actually I'm just waiting you are much appreciated just for being here looking at my video listen to what I have to say so I invite you friends to stay with me through the process of this special makeup look I'm going to create as I'm been explaining before I never plan any of my makeup looks until I'm sitting here but definitely it's going to be uh, a pretty makeup look not for you to please anybody but for you okay for you for you to feel love for you to feel good for you to enjoy yourself loving yourself that is the first thing I would love to say okay don't do your makeup in this special day because you want to please somebody Okay, because I know that many gentlemen said, oh no, love, you look much better without makeup. But as soon as somebody walk, you know, with tone of makeup, their eyes goes away from us. So this is something that happened to all of us. And for that reason, my call today is do your makeup, loving yourself giving a little bit of a, that attention that we all deserve as ladies. And all of my videos, my friends, are found 4K using 70% of natural light and 30% of artificial light. I wanna be honest, today is extraordinary cloudy outside, so I have to put a little extra light on the room. I really invite you to subscribe to my channel, like and comment, my friends. This channel, my loves, doesn't have sponsors, okay? So I'm not here because I'm getting commission or I'm advertising anything. This channel is dedicated to you for entertainment. And so to put a little of a smile and sassiness into your life this day, we couldn't start the day without an amazing, good pop film, okay? So for today, my brand new bottle of YSL Le Parfum Libre. Friends, is no people that pass by my side, then they stop me asking me, what are you wearing? So I said, YSL, Prism Libre. Many people have never heard about this parfum, friends, but this is a parfum that is going to last you all day long. Must recommend it. This shade, friends, is neutral, the one that I'm applying. And the first shade underneath is the shade that I actually use to help me to neutralize the bluish, purplish tone that are very characteristic of my dark circle. But if you have this shade, this product from Tone 4, I recommend 
to use just sit down a little bit I think I did apply too much because with a little bit you go a long way friends and for my foundation friends I'm going to be using sublimage from Chanel and my shade is B20 that is the shade and I'm going to proceed and use the brush that come with this stunning formulation it's pretty thick so I normally I, I'm so used to apply the product friends on the back of my hand okay um, my skin tone is true light okay and I have a combination of undertones so that is another reason I normally go neutral what a beautiful formula on this the sublimage which is it is infused with camellia the finish of this foundation is very natural sublimage and the essence the taint from Chanel and the shade is B20 oh, the glow and the blurring effect than this foundation produce friends is just stunning I'm going to introduce you um, to some new products I'm being buying um, they are not new products they have been on the market for a, a little while and I went yesterday to Ulta because I'm been wanting to try this bloating powder from Fenty Beauty it is a universal look at the stunning packing it's very cute it's very well made like all of the product from Rihanna the powder came like that with a little applicator sponge and this is the shade it's just plain white I understand it is a mattifier powder okay and it says as well that is an ultra fine powder so we're going to find out together what it is about so I'm going to start I'm kind of scared because it says and mattify the skin okay so I hope it doesn't take away the glow you know but let us see what it is about I'm going to do one eye with the applicator and the other eye with my brush so I'm basically going to be applying this powder on my T-zone and around my eyes let me see a little bit with my brush what it is the effect friends I really like the finish look at that it is a slightly bit a mattifier the name in BC mat um, I have several friends that are makeup artists as well and they have been recommending this product to me to try it I was a little reluctant but let me tell you it's not altering which was my fear it's really fine it's very 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 fine it's a very fine particles I'm going to apply a little bit on the T-zone this side haven't creased at all and let us put it down a little bit here the finish is beautiful I won't lie to you 
So I'm going to wait a prudent time. You want to see the powder, how it looks. It's pure white, translucent. The packing is just super cute, absolutely elegant. You know, you want to carry up the product in your purse. It's very convenient. This is the palm of my hand, and that is the size. I pay $42, but you have product for a very long time here. Okay? So we're going to be with the, through the process of this video. I'm going to be introducing you with new product and being pushed. Okay? So stay tuned. Hello, hello, my friends. I came back with one eye completely done. Literally half of my face is done except for the lips. So this is the makeup look I had in mind for this beautiful day in which many people are celebrating their love day, okay? Um, as I was explaining, for me, every day is a love day because we should be loving each other because we need it, okay? Not only once a year, but every day. So I'm doing this makeup look. You know, for me, it pleased me. I did a combination of simultaneous uh, eyeshadow palette to customize the colors. I think so. It's a beautiful, stunning makeup look. The camera is not further than a foot away from my face, so you can observe every detail. And I'm going to be listing my friends as we proceed doing this other eye. Um, I'm going to be listing every single other product I use for this creation. Okay? So, let us start. And that is speaking really much from Pat McGrath. Let me introduce you, my friends, to the mother chip number 8, Divine Rose number 2. It is an artistry palette. Beautiful palette. I got it kind of late. But um, to be really honest, I never regret any of my purchases um, from Pat McGrath. And I'm going to be sharing what I use for the creation of this makeup look with the heart. The heart love, the own desire creation, and I'm going to borrow some shades here to customize what I did on my eyes. Okay, so and you've seen as well the mother chip 11 friends. Because let me tell you, if I wait until I'm going to be creating something really artistic since uh, I keep uh, doing different things, you know, and I've been wanting to put my hands on these stunning uh, purchases. Is the Mother Chip 11 Sunlight Seduction. This is the box. This was one of the latest um, uh, Big palette, she lunch, sunlight seduction. Okay, so I'm going to be uh, asking for some shades I've been using from this palette in order to create this makeup look I just did on this eye. I won't say in another level because the most of the palette that I pick. You know, to work with, they are all stunning, okay? Uh, formulation wise, performance wise, color story wise, I love it so much, okay? So, anyway, I'm going to proceed and I'm going to grab this stunning pink over here, okay? So, I'm going to deposit with a fluffy brush 
but a small fluffy brush blending brush from Morphe all around my eyelid my friends so I normally start by the middle and above my crease as you know I have deep set of eyes in this palette the divine rose number two friends is so silky it's so beautifully beautifully produced so some people related some Valentine to red okay but I've been on the mood to be doing something pink look at this why we have to be red it's a beautiful season friends to be you know playing with different shades and the good news are that this palette my loves are suitable to be used all around the year okay so I'm building this J first because this jade as well is going to serve for the purpose of the transition. Your eyes are sisters they are not to if happen you have this palette I started with rose oops with rose seduction now my loves I'm going to proceed with makeup forever and working with this high precision brush I'm going to start packing on the first of my shade to start bringing dimension to my eyes and I continue using the divine rose number two and the shade is going to be extreme burgundy this one and I'm coming with another blending brush and this one actually is slightly bit longer but it is very soft okay so it helped me to make a very nice transition on the I would love to bring the shade up you know but not covering the rose seduction because actually there is a shade that is helping me for the transition we are clear now coming to the heart desire it is the new palette Pat McGrath lunch for this beautiful beautiful holiday I'm going to grab on this stunning kind of brownish all of these shades friends are in the same family so the transition is this here this deep burgundy is the one that I did place first and then I'm proceeding applying for that on the outer V this shade from the heart collection so again I grab my packer I dip and I concentrate the shade on the outer B what it is amazing friends Working in this kind of technique, it is that you want 
to provide the depth that your eye need but you don't want to cover you know the rose seduction which is the shade and actually is providing you with the transition you really need to take your time on the blending because if you don't have a good blend you're going to start showing hard lines or patches okay so now let us see with my finger I'm going to grab this beautiful metallic shade from the palette and the hearts they are in desire from Pat McGrath and I'm going to work this shade from the inner to the center with this formulation friends you don't need to use any primer so uh, using your jaw on a steak crayon I'm going to apply the black shade on my upper waterline, okay? One third on my lower waterline. Using the white on my lower waterline from the Orcho on a state on a stage crayon. The Orcho on a stage crayon. So now friends, grabbing into this champagne shade over here. I'm going to deposit this shade on my inner. Remember this new lunch from Pat McGrath? She just did. I'm going to proceed and show the box for the hearts collection. This go is a skin fetish highlighter nude opa. I'm going to grab this stunning little another Morphe brush I go around I thought that have gold particles but how surprising it is depending on how you look it gives you a soft peachy and kind of pink shade oh my is those kind of a hybrid shades it's, it's it's literally stunning what i can say so now with my valentino the twin is called the twin liner yes from valentino i'm going to proceed and i'm going to do a very tight line because I customized the, the shades depending on what is the effect I want to give to the eyes so this is the wax the sunlight seduction Stunning palette, friends. I know this was a very controversial eyeshadow palette because everybody was expecting something different and some people got really deceived with that lunch. But I am on that little percentage in which I really appreciate everything she does. So, and for the purpose of the eyelash, it is called J uh, Jungle Gen. 
by Scott Barnes. Jungle Jane, let me see what is the name. Jungle Jane by Scott Barnes. What a beautiful quality of eyelashes he had, friends. Super soft, super easy to apply. I'm here, my friend, with the second lash on. The glue is still drying. I will never get tired of telling you the high quality of the eyelashes I got from Scott Barnes. It's been, a, I would like to say, a good year and a half since I invest in many of his eyelashes, my friends. And the line is called Falsettos. If you are interested, you can find these because on his website it's not showing anymore uh, the eyelashes, but you can find some of his eyelashes on Amazon. This is Jungle Gen. I'm extremely excited of using them, friends, because they are feather-like. I, I can express uh, the feeling of these eyelashes on my eyes. Now, I want to proceed and we're going to apply the, con the contour together. I'm sorry, the bronzer. The zero zero universal bronzer, okay? So when I don't want to contour, you know, my face, I like normally um, just apply the bronzer, and the bronzer is going to give you more or less the same effect, okay? Not as dark as the contour, but it's going to structure your face. So again, Valentino, Go Clutch, 00, zero Universal Bronzer Powder. And I'm using Refer, uh, the 05 brush. Stunning, as you already know. All of uh, the products from Valentino are extremely highly recommended, friends. So now, using Refer Brush number 19, I'm going to use one of another stunning creation from Pat McGrath. Are these creamy type of blushes that blend friends like a dream by the touch seems powdery but once then you blend this product on your face friends forget it so again I'm going to use the brush slightly bit dipping on the product and I'm going With the stippling motions, more or less taking as a reference the tip of my ear and blending this beautiful shade into the contour. The name of this blush is Love Struck. Okay, remember that this was a famous shade exactly the one that she used on this past catwalk and she was leading as a makeup artist okay let us say that this makeup look friends it is for an evening and i'm going to try to speed up with the editing so you can have access as soon as possible to this uh, product, uh, to this makeup look and nude Opal. This is stunning highlighter that belongs 
to the collection Love is a recent lunch for the holidays a bedillium look at this I like it because it's does it does have long bristle it's synthetic but it's super super soft And this specific creation is like a those kind of formulation friend that to the touch look like a, a gel cream texture okay. so it doesn't leave you patches okay and and that is highly 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 appreciated in a product so the face is almost done with love nude opal how stunning are her product friends I would like to say that uh, the blush I just use love struck have that consistency you know, when you touch it, it look like a powder, but once it is on your skin, oh, it blends, friends. It blends like a dream. Um, it is not about color. It is not about name. It is about performance and formulation. I'm going to grab the butterfly palette from our glass and my multi brush from my Kitco I'm going to unlight a slightly bit the center of my face using these two shades okay so how I do it I normally just swipe my brush The powders are so fine in texture, my loves, that you can barely see it. So this is some of the lunches um, they did on the 22, 23 for holidays. With the collection from Pat McGrath, I grabbed these two new lipsticks, Chill Lunch. A one is nude nocturne. It is like a a burgundy shade with brown. The other shade it is called honey haze. It's a pink mauve shade from Valentino. This is a honey haze and nocturne, nude nocturne. I would like to say that I, I would love to go with the Valentino. This was uh, a special edition. I'm going to proceed and lip line my lips. Okay, the name is Rose Natural Crayon Lepress Lip Liner from Chanel. But it's good enough to make a whole of this makeup look. I'm going to apply a slightly bit of this Christian Dior.
like this. See? Good enough. And we have a whole makeup look using the best of the best, my friends. Valentino Rosso, Valentino Limited Edition, the Lip Addict Volumizer from Christian Dior. Thank you so much for spending this stunning day with me. Enjoying this cup of tea. As you know, it is something cannot, I can neglect that because it gives me the energy and the warmth I need. All of my videos are fun 4K using 70% of natural light and 30% of artificial light, my loves. And um, I will be listing every single other product I use for this beautiful makeup look. The, the payoff, friends. I hope that you can actually observe. It's just stunning. It's beautiful. Subscribe to my channel, please. Don't forget about that. Like and comment. If you like the content of my, of my videos, I send a lot of love and have a beautiful, blessed rest of the evening. Bye, my friend. Mm -hmm.